do think about ancient myths and legends, how do they correspond to modern times? Myths and legends are the foundation of modern literature. For years now, they have shaped our cultures and traditions and encouraged problem solving for our future generations. The knowledge we can get from them is just spectacular. They teach us about mistakes, about risks, and most importantly, they encourage us to be who we are and much more. The Minotaur, a terrifying monster with the body of a man and head of a bull, a hybrid which represents all our darkest fears and desires lurking in the shadowy labyrinth of our unconsciousness. <laughs> Ironically, bulls were regarded as a positive, powerful symbol thought to be the representatives of an earth god, power and light. Now, according to the story itself, an Athenian hero, Theseus, had volunteered to go as tribute to be devoured by the Minotaur. However, instead of being devoured by him, he ends up killing the monster, thus ending the tradition of offering ritual victims to the Minotaur. The story itself highlights the importance of sacrificing for greater good, thus telling us that sometimes in order to achieve something we want, we have to take risks. And looking at history, there are quite a few examples where people started with something and risked everything they had and ended up with even more. As a matter of fact, there is a saying in Russian, he who doesn't risk doesn't drink champagne. So, is risk mandatory for success? I want you to think about that. What risks do you have to take to obtain your goal? What is your goal? How are you going to achieve it? Now, some of you might have heard about Baba Yaga, a witch who lives in the forest and kidnaps children to eat them. She's shown in a lot of... She's shown in a lot of different stories, but surprisingly in all different perspectives. And I got curious, why is that so? And when I googled, I in fact got the response that she's three separate sisters all with the same name. Can you believe that? Now, I'm a Slavic girl myself. Ever since I was a child, I was told stories about her. And canonically, she's the representation of darkness, cannibalism, deception, and death. However, however, she helps heroes along their journeys and bestows knowledge from those who seek it. She's just an old woman who defies the societal norms. She defies the norm of being good. And I personally think she can be quite a good role model for some teenagers who are scared to express themselves. They can be pressured into doing things they're uncomfortable with by their friend groups and they just tend to make them, try to make themselves more likable. I was like that myself. I used to change myself, my character, my way of speech, just to make more friends, just to be more likable. But now I understand. What's the point of doing so? At the end of the day, it's just going to be me. It's not going to be my friend Sarah or Max. It's just going to be me. So let's all be like Baba Yaga. Let's be free, be creative, and just express ourselves. Now, some of you might have heard. <laughs> oh, some of you might have heard about the Monkey King. The Monkey King is a trickster god who was born from stone with supernatural powers like immortality. Now, due to him being such a trickster, he was in fact banned from heaven and sentenced to stay under a rock by the Buddha for nearly 500 years. Can you believe that? For 500 years, you're staying in the same place. There's no one to talk to. You can't go anywhere. There's no phones, no internet. It must be very tedious and boring. And you would yearn for freedom. And that's totally normal. People from across generations have yearned for freedom. And only thanks to our persistence in the free world where we've been able to achieve what we have now. And I believe that in the future we can achieve even more. Overall, I think that myths and legends can really help us along our life journeys as they give us really valuable lessons and advice on how to deal in certain situations. Even though they might seem surreal and unrealistic, but they're always somehow relevant to real life. So let's be like Papa Yaga, be free and be creative. And most importantly, just enjoy life and be confident. Thank you.